the mysterious properties of black holes have inspired many science fiction stories. Recently, black holes have led scientists towards a new understanding of the dimensions around us, holography. Physicists on the field of string theory, like Marika Taylor, study the idea that the three dimensions in space are actually built from a world of two dimensions. My name is Marika Taylor. I'm an associate professor at the Institute of Theoretical Physics at the University of Amsterdam. I've been passionate about physics since I was a young child, and I was fortunate enough to study with Stephen Hawking in Cambridge. One of the most exciting developments of string theory in recent years is the holographic principle. The holographic principle completely revolutionizes the way we look at the world around us. Physicists in the field of string theory build up a framework that forms the basis of all knowledge about nature. The foundations of our universe are tiny strings. These strings imply the existence of extra dimensions, up to 11 dimensions. Holography is a key element in string theory, and in holography all these dimensions are described in two dimensions. Think of a hologram on a credit card. It shows us a picture in 3D, nevertheless it's a flat image. The main goal of string theory is to find a theory that unifies the forces of nature. That is, it should unify the force of gravity and Einstein's theory of gravity with the theories which describe other forces of nature, the atomic forces. Holography developed from attempts to understand black hole physics. One of the long-standing puzzles in black holes is that anything you throw in comes out in the form of radiation. All of the information about what was thrown in gets lost. This so-called information loss paradox can be explained by holography. And in recent years, we've, re we've realized that holography suggests a resolution to the information loss paradox, which goes by the name of the fuzzball proposal. We're increasingly starting to understand what a fuzzball looks like and how it differs from a black hole. We're also starting to understand exactly how the information comes back out again. Holography is the idea that the three-dimensional world around us can be described in terms of a world with no gravity in two dimensions. Usually when we think about gravity, we think about Newton's apple falling from a tree or the motion of planets around each other. But in holography, we can describe this in a completely different way. We can describe it in terms of particles in two dimensions colliding and bouncing off each other. The motion of the planets in one higher dimension can be reconstructed in a complicated way from this two-dimensional world. In string theory, we've gotten used to the idea that there may be small extra dimensions that we can't see. But now we've learned that one of the large dimensions around us may actually be an illusion. What are you trying to achieve in your current research? Holography has huge implications, not just for black holes, but throughout physics. The cosmology of our universe may actually be better understood by thinking about a world without gravity in one less dimension. The main goal of my research program is to develop the holographic principle further and understand what it means for physics. The relation between worlds with gravity and worlds without gravity can be used to understand in a completely different way many new areas of physics. It's a very exciting time to be in high energy physics. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN is just starting to operate. Meanwhile, there are telescopes and satellites such as Planck and Fermi, which are giving us a lot more data about the universe and about high energy physics. I think this data is going to have huge impact on my research. Perhaps they'll find supersymmetry or other ideas coming from string theory, but they might find something completely unexpected. Either way, I expect to be involved in the theoretical interpretation of the many exciting discoveries.